pretty similar to Monster Hearts. Um, yes. So you guys are young superheroes in Halcyon City. You guys are between, you know, 15 and 20. You That's generally the, the where they place you. Uh, Halcyon City is a massive, bustling megalopolis. That's the word they use. Megalopolis. Not a megatropolis. megatropolis. Yeah, not a megatropolis. Megatropolis is probably not a real word. Sounds better, though. Um, so, countless people, countless cultures, but Halcyon City is the focal point of super-powered, extra-normal world. Since the 1930s, it's uh, played home to more superheroes and their kin than any other place on Earth. Law enforcement has adapted to the human activity. Uh, there is people in the in the book. They describe this group called Aegis that is a shield-like organization, but there is... We can call it whatever we want. Maybe Ned is the thing, but I think that you guys are kind of a more specialized group than than whatever the human, uh, the superhuman police yeah, are. The Avengers and the Young Avengers. Well, I, even to, more to the point of like, there, it's not necessarily run by superheroes. The, the the group is probably more like Shield of of government agents that just try to police. There are Avengers, right? There are super groups. There's Justice Leagues. There's also villainous societies. And they all have a very big, as part of the game, they all have a very vested interest in how the lot of you turn out. Um, The uh, setting uh, assumes that the history of the city kind of looks like the uh, three most popular generations of superhero or well-known, right? You have the Golden Age the golden generation that is from the early, you know, 20s through the 40s. Then you have the silver generation. Uh, and everything gets more cosmic and more powerful. And then the what they call the bronze generation, which where everything was very serious and a little bit more violent. But you guys are now the new generation. The Ned generation, as it were, that I... That's what this started as. Um... And oh, yeah, and people are still trying to figure out what this generation is all about, and people are going to try and convince you to do things. Uh, there is a mechanic of influence, and by default, all adults have influence over you, so they can kind of try to change the way you think and act. Uh, your labels, for example, like in Apocalypse World, uh, you're pr- basically never going to get minus permanent minuses to your stats. Right, you only get pluses when you level up and and that kind of thing. In this game, there's going to be shifting of labels a lot. Uh, villains, heroes, your friends can all try to like make you be more dangerous. Right, we're we're headed into a fight, and you are just a stealth and detective kind of person. But we're going to need to scrap up, right? And they're telling you that, and so maybe they try to shift your danger up and your superior down. And uh-huh. that and that and you can do the same. To, to your friends and, and to enemies too or, or whoever you have influence over it's it's a really fun thing you'll you'll see uh, it play out I would suggest just don't be super stressed about where your stats are and just try to play your character the best you can because uh, stressing about being in control of your stats can can be a little frustrating because you don't have a, a huge control over it because you guys are young people who are learning to to become themselves like learning who they are um yeah and then other than that right yeah there's just gonna be like all you know different types of heroes you got your violent vigilantes and you guys will come across and you're your superman and you guys will come across them and they will help and they will hinder you with their words and their actions and it's yeah it's just a romp through comic books and you guys are a young superhero team that uh, hopefully, and we will actually. There's like a whole thing on your character sheet that's when your first team, ca- when your team first came together. So like, pretend that the first episode of the show or the first issue of the comic, like we don't play that out, but we do talk about it using those questions, and we kind of come in on the second issue. So cool. If everybody is ready, I will start with Chloe. Because you're first on my roll twenty list. Ah, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Well, but, I get to like have a chance to like realize what the 
what we're what we're fighting against or that sort of thing. Um, let me think for a moment. Okay. Well, like we're, we're fighting against like you mentioned like the X Files, so we're fighting against like evil aliens, right? It, well, there's um, there's aliens, yep. you know. There's the idea of mutants in that show. There's like supernatural creatures that end up not necessarily being like like there's like a wolf man episode but it's not like oh cursed by a gypsy wolf man or you know there's stuff like and we're very technologically based. great great tide yeah um, i think that uh, even part of the ned people is they right they're supposed to find these supposedly uh supernatural things and scientifically explain it so like you know demons well maybe that's just an extra dimensional entity like we can quantify its demon portal maybe i don't know um you are 7.5 percent demon <laughs> so the ai that a uh, fragment is a part of um when the team first came together it got some access to the med systems oh. and so so um well i think we're, we're we're jumping ahead a little bit uh, i want to come up to the doom to real quick uh, a high cost that's uh yeah well, well when when yeah we have on here yeah i want to get to that but i wanted to, to go over the questions for everybody oh, first I'm sorry no that's okay so we, but you know right well, when that... when you first learned about your doom and and then we should oh, yeah. tell everybody that all right um, story a little bit uh Brittany was work was in her first year of college and she had an internship at a local like AI te like laboratory in Halcyon City. Um, it for some reason or another and Brittany maybe blames herself a bit. The AI sort of got loose of what the scientists were using to contain it. Uh, oh shit. And in the process infected her and the lead scientists of the project whose name is Dr. Agalor, I think. Uh, Agathon. Agathon, my bad. Um, it's um, being part of the AI itself, uh, Fragment is given rather unique access to knowing like what it can do and what it will, it is it wants to do should its plan succeed. This is actually kind of like uh, the Mass Effect indoctrination uh, in the yeah. first ga in the first game. The scientist mm -hmm. here is kind of like the Saren. Yeah, it's totally. Yeah, yep. um, and uh, where did you get your sanctuary? Her sanctuary is just a really nice computer that she can get shove herself into. She cool. Can, oh, that's so can, cool. She can literally physically meld with technology. His body transmutation is a fun ability she took. She can become oh, computerized. Amazing. Yeah, she can basically digitize herself. Um, you are so showdown! Cool. Why does she oppose her nemesis? Because Dr. Agathon... Uh, well, she somewhat blames Dr. Agathon for, the, for what happened with the AI. And she somewhat... And she knows that and Agathon is acting to, you know, support the AI and its goals. And at the moment, she definitely does not like that, given that um, she's, well, pretty scared of it, honestly. Um, right. I mean, it makes sense. It's, you know, you don't, considering the context, right, you, your motivation is fairly apparent. Yeah. That um, who outside of, your, of the team yeah. is crucial for, to defeating your nemesis? I think the obvious answer there is actually a Ned the group. Okay. Um, given that they're like at least a very prominent, or at least somewhat prominent uh, force for dealing with like crazy technological and in si similar situations to this. Absolutely. Yes. Um, why does the team matter to you? Because um, Brittany really values her, like what what parts of her remain at all normal, and Aww, being, okay. being with you know other teenagers 
helps that. Very cool. All right, and then yeah, we will come back around to do the the first uh, came together. Yeah, my bad. Stuff, but let's do. Yes. But let's do. Uh, uh, yeah, let's do, we'll wait for the influence and stuff after everybody's done intros too. I think, even though I kind of want to, I wish that that was a little bit better. Yeah, that we could yeah, do all of that fun. stuff, and then when the team first came together, and we might do that. Yeah. But uh, so next is Darren. Cool. Um, I am playing the Transformed playbook. Uh, the real name before all this happened is Eric McCallum. Uh, age eighteen, he was uh, recruited, just um, just out fresh out of high school. Uh, because of his intelligence and also because well, they were looking for young persons, like specifically for younger reflexes and so on, he was recruited by a research company. This is private sector, who deals in research and development for, as I have it, drone technology and other remote operations equipment. He was assigned as a test pilot and troubleshooter to run prototype equipment through their, to, through their pieces. This specifically would be the um, the surrogates, which were supposed to be operated remotely via a neural link. So, like he would be sitting inside a command pod, and uh, communication between his brain and the the suit would go on. To so, computers. avatars from the Avatar movie. Pretty yeah, much, like yeah. you know, or you know, drone piloting today, except yeah. Avatar or the Matrix. Yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. So um, he was out taking one of these on a, on a test run when the facility itself was uh, attacked. It was uh, a combination of sabotage and um, outright attack by a rival group. They came to seize certain technology and just basically um, cripple this company yeah, in this particular division. Um, Brutal. The command Brutal was things destroyed. happening. Yeah, the link was severed, and what's left of his mind, um, his mind was was trapped in the actual droid itself. Turned around, man. Oh shit! Up. Yeah. Turn yeah, around. he's he's like can't go back home. Transformed. Yeah. Like other people can imagine, maybe their body would be normal again. His body is not around anymore. Yeah. So this is like um, a door is shut there. Yeah. So whereas you know um, a, a, he would expect a tech to, to shut down the system and wake him up, he uh, in the droid body now has to turn around and make it back to the facility to find the whole place like on fire, um, you know, okay. structure crumbling, that kind of thing. So he is just S O L. Um, that's the basic setup. Uh, the abilities I choose chose were impenetrable armor and inhuman might. Um, Makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then nice. we got two of the questions, I think, out of the way. So the first two, who you were before and yeah. when did you change? What caused it? We got that. Right. So who outside of the team is helping you understand your new body? Well, the reason why I got chosen in the first place, aside from my high scores and so on, it was also because my father works in that company. Okay. So, um, you know, he pulled some strings and got me in. Um. He's still with okay. the company, uh, uh, and he kind of on his side, uh, on his sly, uh, keeps me supported, resupplied, recharged, uh, that kind of thing. And and he and the company knows about this. No, they don't. I don't think that they would let you just do your thing if no. they did. Kind no, of no, maybe. No, no. no, they definitely like, don't. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is this is good stuff. Father. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. All right, so um, so he's able to do some of that, uh, you know, um, some of the, the little supplies and um, uh, that sort of thing. So he's kind of my lifeline, so to speak, and he's kind of helping me come to terms with what's really going on and, and you know how my life has changed. Why don't I just try to hide yep. myself away? Um, yeah. I want to prove to my father that um, that I'm still his son and I'm still gonna. Well, I mean, even though I can't use the actual words, air quotes, I'm still going to grow up and make him proud and that kind of thing. Um, I'm still going to leave my mark on this world and um, 
you know, become something great, whatever that may be. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm, I, I want him to know that he, he hasn't lost his son, basically. Um. Why do I care about the team? Because they make me feel like I have my life ahead of me still, and that I'm not just to be written off as a failed experiment. All right. Cool. And. That's XR13, Eric McCollum. And then we have Roscoe Saint. All right, let me just uh, scroll down. So you are the protege. So I a Blade St. Wilder person who would call himself Blade St. Oh, you can't. No, I'm thinking I'm gonna refresh this real quick because I've been that's been happening a bit for. Uh yeah, um, Roscoe, you're cutting in and on. Okay, let's try again. So we got your your mentor is Blade Saint Wilder, which is he should be in some kind of like two thousand early two thousands metal band. Yeah. Like it's, it's such a like. Uh, reminds me of Zach Wild, Lo- Lemmy Kilminster, that kind of thing. All right, and uh, so you guys are spies, right? You're basically like Black yeah. Widow and, and Nick Fury type of situation. Yeah, like he's more of like the aggressive spy when like he's more of like an assassin type spy, and I'm more of like a spy type spy. Okay. But we both have like his this fucked up history with like aliens and shit. Is he like got the Fox Mulder background of like trying to find his his sister or his mom or whatever somebody's abducted and that like led yeah. leads him into the world of of the paranormal? Well, I guess not the yeah. paranormal, but the the real truth. Yeah, he's yeah, just and... and I feel like he, uh, you know, he's like chain smoke and cigarettes and like i don't know if i'll do the voice but i imagine he just has the voice of like that guy that's always on the real prison documentaries it's like grass yes. you don't know man it's just yes. so real man. oh my god I, I just laughed so loudly that i woke my cat up and now he's giving me this fucking look <laughs> but it's why, why you do this all right cool all right so and you've got um some moves and some resources right so what did which did you choose over here let's see. um so been i chose the files. Uh, good good been reading the files venting frustration and uh, be mindful of your surroundings all right but so i might put that out for fireside chat before we start game yeah it's that's a good one too it's yeah either one and your mentor what uh what does he embody and what does he deny i forgot um so he embodies danger and denies freak okay so hmm you you guys probably do want to keep freak because freak is uh how you will be stealthing right freak is kind of the cool of this system uh, if he wants to, like, mundane would be like he doesn't care about normal life, right? He doesn't care about feelings and families. Uh, maybe savior if he's if he doesn't care about, you know, defending people or stopping danger. Or he just wants to, like, take stuff out, right? Or, yeah. But freak is how you will do your stealth, and freak is how he oh. would use his weapons and gadgets and, and things of that nature. So you guys are probably mm-hmm. freaky. Yeah, I guess let's say he denies mundane. Dane. That makes sense. Yeah, you guys are like, you know, living an alternate lifestyle. Yeah. Cool. I feel like he just lives in like his secret underground base with his like computers and shit. And like every time he's tried to like reach out to people, it's gone well for him. Shitty for him. Like that's how okay. he ended up. I was going like, to say, well, no, was he not? So he's, you don't think that he's part of the NED organization? You think he's separate? Um, I feel like he used to work for them, but then he was, like, a big nihilistic mental breakdown and, like, quit to just, like, go drink beer. Kind of okay. like a Sebastian Castellano sort of thing from The Evil Within. All right. 
I have I have not played that, but I I got I mean I got the archetype, you know, I can I can figure it out. He's he's just you know, he's just he's burned out. He's burned out on all the cover ups and all the you know all the lies. And also he lost his wife and the aliens held his daughter as a hostage for sixteen years. Oh oh no. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's going to make somebody very angry. All right, so we've got... How how did you first meet your mentor? Um, I think he was, like, investigating humans with pies. So he was, like, breaking into some house. Um, hey, these people have ties to the aliens. These people are laundering money for the aliens. And he breaks in, and like, there's me, and I oh. come swinging at him with a fucking cast iron skillet. <laughs> and like, he just decided that you, you had the right stuff, kid, kind of thing. Oh, uh, that, and the fact that I'm his like long lost daughter, who he never actually knew was alive. Do we know that? Does the do you know? Do they all know that, or are we still figuring that out? Well, I feel like he knows that, but he hasn't told me because he feels weird about it. All right. Then that, because that is weird. Cool. So, like, what is your living situation? Like, I guess maybe you're, like, an adult now and you don't, but, like, who raised you? Or, like, what was up with that, being missing for 16 years? I was told that my parents, um, I was told that my parents gave me a baby, and I was raised by my normal ever um and then i found like smuggling smuggling money um now i'm kind of like in emancipation picked up half of that is she cutting out for other people too yeah sorry to see Okay, Kayla, you so. try Fine. refreshing the channel, and then we'll see if that helps. It sometimes happens with me, too. Sometimes, also, we need to do the, the, the mass restart, but we'll see if that works. Yeah. Too much bin on a bin. What? Discord hates us. No. Hey, that was you guys see me now? Yeah. It's because of y'all's shitty memes. Oh, no, leave me alone. This dis Discord this tastes like a shit. Okay, so uh, yeah. you were saying, like, I, I got to the point, I think, most normal school ever. Maybe? Yeah, I was told my parents were dead and raised by, like, super normal foster parents. Okay. And then I found out that they were like aliens in disguise as people, and now I I feel like Ned has like provided somebody for me to live with. I mean, yeah, I mean they probably are Hellboy style, like a lot of you guys live in the facility if you need a housing yeah. situation. I think they have like I don't know, little apartments. I don't know, uh, something. I feel like maybe a group home because I'm only sixteen. I mean, it's maybe it's it's how it's however you want to however you want it to be. So you think it's like a a foster home situation? Yeah. Okay. But cool. like, it's a Ned foster home, and they like know what's up. Okay. Sure. So there's other people with with weird stuff to them. Yep. Neat. All right. Uh. So that's uh. So I guess you met. That's how you met them, and why they agreed to train you is that you are their long lost daughter. But when and why did you choose to train with them? Like they offered, and you could have immediately accepted. Maybe you thought about it you know, for a while. Like, but yeah, I guess more importantly than when is is why you want to train with them. Um. I feel like I want to know more. I agreed pretty much immediately because, like, I'm pissed off at the aliens and I want to know more about them. Okie dokie. And then who else I want outside? I do know who my real family is. 
All right, and then I guess who else outside of the team knows about your training? Be somebody from Ned, maybe the person that's the doing the foster home that you're in right now. Yeah. But but it could be anybody too. It could just be maybe nobody at Ned knows about your training, and it's just like except one kid, he's at the foster home has seen you with Blade. I don't know. It's a it can go a lot of different ways with it. No, not the dog. Well, it has to be somebody who did the first. Who knows. Like the Nick Fury of Ned, basically. Sure. All right. What's his name? He's 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 the head of Ned, and he uh, just like probably knows everything all the time. It's very annoying. How about Mister Jones? Mister Jones. Very good. We've got Mr. Jones. All right, and then finally, why do you care about the team? Um, I feel like because, like, my parents were, like, super weird and homeschooled me, so I never actually had, like, friends my own age before. So I'm kind of weird. Okay, and you feel, you feel like normal-ish in their company, or yeah. Okay. Q. All right. I feel and... like a normal, te- normal teenage shit. All right, and then that leaves us with Lawrence's character. Okay. So... Which I don't have any names for yet. Okay. Because I can't. I'm talking to you through my cell phone. But, uh... What? Okay. But, but uh, okay. Uh, for my guy, uh... My real name, my character's real name is, uh... Billy Beksinski? Beksinski? Yeah. B-E-K-S-I-N-S-K-I. And uh, I hear, I I don't know, hear a name. I I just. Just what? uh, You might want to try the reconnect thing too. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Well, let's do a mass reconnect and um. Well, it fixed it for Kayla. I I think that we might be good for now if you just out and back in. At least it fixed it for me. Yeah, since Discord has introduced the video function, they've been okay. having stability in issues. So, um, mm. you know, they're struggling a bit with that. Damn it, Discord, you didn't have to be Skype. You didn't. Okay. You could have been good. <laughs> <laughs> you could have been but... good. <laughs> you were the okay. chosen one! <laughs> Discord was, actually. <laughs> but yeah, uh... Hero name is uh, just Switcher. Switcher. Uh, yep. Okay. Boy, uh, white, jaded eyes, uh, ragged clothing, no costume. Abilities, gadgetry and hacking with illusions. Okay, you went with the illusions, I see. Yeah, I, f- I figure I'd go with that one. Uh, for the moves, I went with Mary, Con- Mary Contrary, Criminal Mind, and Are You Watching Closely? Uh, uh, Danger, I have zero, Freak, zero, Savior, minus one, Superior, two, Mundane, two. Interesting. To have such equally high superior and mundane they're kind of you know considering the opposition of them that's it's neat i've i noticed that about the delinquent went before it's kind of the the contradictory nature of them of superior and individualistic but also very humane not mundane but human like i'm mentally balanced as fuck yo yeah, uh, yo. <laughs> but you don't care enough to save them. Oh man, that's what that's what police for. 
That's what everyone else fault. But yeah, how, how'd you get how I got my one? Oh, how did I get my powers? Ah, uh, I'm gonna say when I was young, like ten or twelve or something, uh, just to get the fuck away from the from my schoolwork. I I went into the local library and stuff, and a guy, he's like behind the counter. He show, he's like he show me an interesting uh, thing. A kind of mathematics book, a book on mathematics and stuff. I went through it page after page and just started just the calculations and the formulae and all and the, and the proofs. They start unlocking my brain. Start thinking it faster and faster, making figuring it out and stuff. And after that, I went to psychology and all these, so on and so forth. Okay. There's that. There's so a dude in. showed you the book O Mathematics and like it unlocked Eldritch like it's understanding like of math smart. in your It's like I was it's like kid was smart before, but he was smart in the kind of way that uh it's like you're just you kinda unconsciously just memorize bullshit. That you can just spout off no problem. This got this got him unlocking critical thinking. And stuff super critical well wow. super effective critical thinking but to the point of uh superpowers but anyway uh that's how i got it that's the, what do i do for fun uh, i read books and i make illusions to entertain people and sometimes troll them but mostly entertain <laughs> nice i mean you can do Whatever, yeah, like, it's like my, you know, I'll show. I'll, I mean, we never got I'll make to a see, giant flower, the, yeah. then turn into a killer clown. That sort of shit. Yeah, I mean, I never got to do. <laughs> that thing, but I made <laughs> a link one that was all about doing the like Mr. Robot thing to people, and just would hack them, find out what they were doing, <laughs> expose them, and then like, you know, call them out to a place, and then let them know what I'd done. Anyway. Yeah, I suppose. And so yeah, you got Hacker then, Man too. Why not? Hacking. Whatever the fuck what, that means. Who outside the team thinks better of you than you do. So this is like you're doing whatever you're doing and somebody is like, You but you can be so much more. And who is that person? I'm gonna say it's the librarian. The librarian? Mr fellow that gave me the book in the first place is he like a superhero himself can be i guess um, well, maybe not like akiro he flies around but i'm wondering if he is like a person who is able to like unlock or enhance the natural abilities of other people yeah. maybe that is like what I... happened to you he calls himself mr trin mr trin okay you can put an H in there or whatever, but he's like a yeah. like an Asian dude. I don't know what. Yeah, it's just fucking there. Like, there's just some guy I work not work with. I set shit up for him. His name is Trin. I don't even know why. It just the name came up. It's a good but name. Yeah, uh, it sounded. Why do you want to be here? Use my mind, intelligence, good, in ways that people. That in ways that the people that control me, oh, I mean, in ways that the people that control me never intended. Okay. So what playbook are you? The delinquent. What? Yeah. Well. Okay. Why do you care about the team? So what's? Uh, I I might need to work on this one, but it's like, <laughs> what's the point of being so fucking smart if you can't help anyone with it? You can't make other people get good. You want to yeah. make them get good. That's fine too, right? It doesn't have to be super altruistic. You just like, look, these guys, they're cool and all, but they need to get good. Hashtag get good. Like they're, promis they're promising scrubs. I want, I want to get them to be pro. Are you going to talk like that all the time? No, no, I'm just kind of I'm kind of 
sleep deprived and I'm fucking around right now. Okay. Uh, I've been, I've I been just, awake I'm since wondering if you I'm just I'm like, it's weird that you're doing this like George Lucas impression. <laughs> <laughs> Who's George Lucas? Don't take a beat. No. Oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> Who's, who's George Lucas? Who's George Lucas. <laughs> oh, George Lucas. I I heard Lipkus. <laughs> which I was wondering, who the fuck is that? But no. Um, oh yeah, you're right. George Lucas actually talks like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez, that makes me have a weight problem. I I got I got I can I can do the fat vowels. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's disconcerting. The f- it right. was- just how it dawned on you, like, oh, that is what he sounds like. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. It's been ages since he, I heard. It's he been ages sounds since I heard how kind of. He sounds like a fat balloon. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I can imagine it in my head. He's like, did you? He's like, do you want to see the prequels where he's where Darth Vader's a little kid? <laughs> <laughs> I got I All right, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll cut that shit out. Okay. Uh, let's see, relationships. All right, so we've done, oh. yeah, we've done everybody's thing now. So we can do when the team first came together. And uh-huh. we start off as always, because, even though they don't have it, because we need to know what you guys did. Um, we start off by asking the Bulls question. So that would be when let's see if I'm I sorry, who's find. the bull? Nobody is the bull, but the bull's question must be asked. And I will oh. go and find it on my GM moves is probably the easiest place to find it. Mm. So the bull is we defeated a dangerous enemy. Who or what was it? I kinda like the idea for a technological team that our very first uh, thing was an enemy completely Techno non-tech. zombies of Dr. Krokonos. Oh, zombies is good. Yeah, zombies are awesome. And I mean yeah, zombies I think, uh, in the sense it's... of like voodoo techno zombies, not like undead zombies. Well, I was imagining Frankenstein oh, shit. Yeah, like bolts in the oh, neck. That works too. Well, like bolts in the neck, and then he's like controlling these bodies remotely. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, Dr. Krokonox. <laughs> it's C R O. I need to get K I N O X. Meshes with sleep deprivation. Not well. If you get drunk with your sleep deprivation, you're just gonna fall asleep. Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh, All right. Nice state. Things. I, I the next is, is the Nova. We don't have a Nova. The next is the Outsider. We don't have an Outsider. Then the Janus. No Janus. Then the Delinquent. We totally broke some major rules to win the fight. What rules did we break and whose rules were they? So it doesn't have to be the law per se. It could be like a protocol of Ned that you guys broke, or it could be like a thing that a different superhero team does, but you guys like ignored them in telling you to do something, right? It could be a lot of different things, but you totally broke some major rules. So, thoughts? Mars? Could we have melted so it's, him? It's, it's, oh yeah, and it could be just moral rules, like uh, you had to do something weird, bad, desecrating bodies kind of thing. Maybe you had, right, maybe you had to burn all the bodies or something Unless to destroy you. them, and that like, you kind of like insulted the people. The electrical grid to basically arc the electricity through the techno zombies and leading back up to the man but in doing so fucked up the electrical grid and damaged the property uh that's uh, that's the nova's question though it, what is the rule that you broke is the most important thing because you destroyed some surroundings that's what you just said yeah some surroundings yeah. got destroyed no 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 you break rules make yeah not you're the delinquent lawrence you are there's no way you're not going to make people pissed off at you (laughs) like that is the point like people are you are going to uh, do things that are specifically like hey kid the fuck are you doing like yeah you know what how about this he was going down the streets 
I was able to make to make illusions to look make it look like all the streetlights were going green in his direction. Oh his shit! Car caused a giant car crash. <laughs> would, uh, actually, would that lead to too many deaths? Because that seems like too many deaths. Maybe I need to go back to drawing board. Uh, there was a really old um, game that I like. It's a uh, SWAT four. And for each mission, they would give you three objectives. So the first two objectives would be according to whatever you do. But the third one was always the same. Always the same. It's bring order to chaos. So it would be infiltrate the base, capture, captain, whatever. And the third one was always bring order to chaos. So it would be like an overarching rule like that, that we abide by or are supposed to abide by. That like here's the thing right maybe maybe ned is like kind of secretive or something right so maybe you had to expose yourself on television or something like that that would be a non-law related rule that you could break um it, it could be Sorry, can't that you just involve property damage, uh, but yeah, you guys. Stop! Yeah, don't. Whatever you did doesn't involve actually doing anything. Imagine that, right? Don't even think about it. It didn't achieve shit. You just broke some rules. <laughs> just oh, like okay. take out that first sentence. Is that in order to win the fight? Take out win the fight. Just like you broke some rules. So figure. I, it, and then I, we I stole a couple of cars. There we go. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Okay, have, and then have, and then yeah, it doesn't matter that uh, doesn't matter. You don't have to do all this complicated like, oh, we crushed a bunch of zombies by having cars drive into them. No, you like just got two cars that you stole so that you could run over zombies. Like yeah. that simple. Oh shit! I totally helped hotwire a car. Just, just don't <laughs> yeah. just do donuts while smacking into the back into the sides. Of the <laughs> Yeah. And I think yeah, it might be even to the point where these maybe aren't even like actual dead people they might be like brainless clones of a person um, who knows yeah. maybe they're his clones yeah he has they have but they have no sentience they're like brain dead and so he just like controls them with his mind i oh, know th those are his yeah. failed attempts at immortality and he figured fuck it let's just, let's just go fuck on people with with my army of half dead uh, yeah that sounds amaze balls have army will travel but all right all right, so the, so we got that, and we got your you broke, so you, you know you broke the law. You stole some cars. You ruined the cars. You still got some property damage in there, and the doomed. You paid right, a high um, cost. Well, I already kind of said it. Um, okay. Yeah. During but this, during this fight, uh, fragment got hurt, and they took her back to Ned, and they didn't really know the full extent of what was up with her, so they didn't really. They weren't really careful with any sort of like quarantine, with, and the oh, shit. so infected some of the Ned systems. So there is a little bit of the AI. Do you have a name for the AI? I haven't named it yet. I'm gonna figure that out eventually. Well, there, but there is a ghost in the machine, as it were. Woo! Yep. That's oh god, I love the spooky techno-ness of it, right? Because you, you guys, now you have a haunted computer. It's. Oh. And, so it's basically yeah, and just like, halfway in the middle of whatever you're doing. It's just gonna just hit you with subliminals of like, <laughs> of like the fucking. Uh, uh, XR might not even know about fragments about what, that much about. Fragments. Yeah, it's very uh, who and who doesn't know about the doom is can be pretty specific. Like, uh, yeah, that's one of the uh, the uh, relationship questions. Is that I told one person about the doom. Yeah, most people actually don't know exactly what's going on with her yeah that's cool that's cool well i'm, I'm sure will it will be made self-evident yeah, it will be uh, uh an interesting conversation later on Don. <laughs> and then uh come to the last person on the list is protege and Whoa! the question is we stuck together after all was said and done why and how did we keep in contact did we do mine um I want to say maybe Ned put us together. Like, they were like, all right, yes, these children did wreck, these teenagers did wreck the entire fucking electricity <laughs> system of this entire fucking city. 
But like they're a pretty good team, so Yeah, we you stopped the doctor. He yeah. is army he will not be achieving immortality anytime soon. Like let's put them together and see if we can get them to like actually you know, do something that doesn't wreck the entire city. Okay, and is there is just I mean, you guys just have contact information of how how we keep in contact. Are you just like you... Oh shit. Can we have a group chat? Can we have like a group chat with memes? Like a Slack? <laughs> sure. You can have whatever you want like that. You want to just have like a group t- chat on I'm gonna, that you I'm guys gonna make, own. I'm going to post in character memes on the in the chat. Um, yes. All right. So, um uh, uh, and that this is all for this. So the team has come together. Oh, no, so mine, starting mine. going um, around. Did, did, did oh, you, yours is different. Oh, I oh I missed yours. My bad. Yours was before the protege. I'm sorry. We, uh, go ahead. Wait, uh, yeah. So we drew attention on Aya from plenty during the fight. One important person in particular now hates and fears us. Um, the one that usually fits pretty well there would be like some sort of politician. Mm-hmm. Like maybe someone who thinks that Ned overstepped their boundaries, or like yeah. yes, or who, or who thinks that Ned um is not held accountable enough or something, or what do you guys think? I mean, probably. I want to make sure that we. Because that, yeah, that is the usually it's like a politician, somebody who's uh, prominent in the city. It could be. I did have another uh, idea that um, maybe we drew the attention of whoever it was, sabotage and stole tech from my I mean, first company. Like they realized that there was more tech out there. Hmm. Or, or like if it's attention. And maybe it's not like full blown news reports of like and footage and stuff, but maybe there are now rumors of like you know this this Iron Man guy, this 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 robot yeah. person that yeah. looks and like the description is that right? And your father's company is missing one of their units, so maybe yeah, well, that's awful. but uh, hates and fears means that they would be like distinctly aware of you though i think yeah. that they probably not just quite maybe it has to do with uh a villainous organization that yeah. dr croconox was part of maybe there is a person uh, yeah. that hates us yeah, now I mean, maybe yeah. there's a lady love in his life Ooh. <laughs> nice piss off the cute one so we need to name her or a man. Maybe, you know, he. I don't judge. I kind of like the idea. I kind of like, well, this is just to be transformed. I kind of like the idea that um, being at war with a girl is the furthest thing from what I would have been doing if I was a normal boy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, or maybe not even his... Maybe it's his uh, daughter. Yeah. The daughter. Oh, of, shit. The, and then the that, daughter like, of Croconox. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, so, so it would be some sort of legacy situation with her where she has some of um, Croconox abilities, that kind of thing. Oh, hey, maybe the reason he wanted to be immortal was because he had like terminal cancer or something and he wanted to be around for like his kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> baby! Yeah, it's his, breaking in bad. His bid to cure his cancer, he turned into a cancer person, and I'm just <laughs> he wanted he wanted to his cancer cure and research to turn other people into dinosaurs. The fuck yeah. are you talking about, Lord? I'm sorry, I don't I'm get the reference. <laughs> guys, I can reconstruct his DNA to turn them into dinosaurs. It's like, what? It's like, with that, you could cure cancer. I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn people <laughs> yeah. into dinosaurs. Is, those are the real words of the of the movie? Yes! Oh, it's actually, man. Isn't that <laughs> it's fantastic. 
I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn people into dinosaurs. God <laughs> damn it. Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man. It's amazing. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It is amazing. Have you guys heard about some of the plot deals for the details for the James Cameron Spider-Man? Oh, man. No. They sound it bad. What is it? It, it it involved a lot of weird stuff, including Doctor Octopus, like being mad at Spider Man because like he wants to be called Spider Man because he's got eight legs. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's definitely part of it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, there, there is there is a. Uh, Apparently, like it's it's just a known thing in the script that Peter Parker knows Spider Man. I guess because he takes his pictures or whatever. So, like the plot is, Doctor Octopus goes after Peter Parker to draw out Spider Man because he's mad that Spider Man is calling himself Spider Man. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's it's yeah it's. Glad, be happy we got the movie that we got and not the Jim Scary <laughs> Spider Man. The movie we did get was so fucking good, though. It is. It's James quite Cameron good. does what James Cameron does because James Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta say it like Morgan Freeman. No, uh, no, I, yeah. I just I, I tried to sound like James Cameron. At least, at least uh, how how Matt Trey Parker calls James Cameron James Cameron. Yeah, well, I, it's, he's very much more elegant, <laughs> I think, in that portrayal. I mean, in real life, in real life, he seems kind yes. of like a chauvinist. <laughs> anyway, the next step is relationships, and we're going to do Fragment first. Oh, boy. We've got influence and relationships, so for the doomed... First, you told Blank about all about your doom and the danger you're in. All right. Um, I don't think she would tell um, our, our friendly XR13 due to the obvious XR13 would be scared of yeah. Fragment. So, Switcher, maybe? You told Switcher about... Uh, about... Uh, the AI death threat thing. Yep. The AI, what, how she's scared of it, etc. What it could do, what she thinks it could do, it's that sort of thing. Cool. Yeah, I mean, however you take that is up to you there, Switcher. But he, uh, yeah, or, uh, uh, what is it, Brittany? Brittany. Yeah, Brittany revealed to you the the dangerous AI Manchurian candidate situation she's in. And then a second, you'd love to kiss blank before your doom comes. Um Now we can go one of two ways with it. Uh, Are you a robosexual? Um Bro Oh my god, yes, the computer people should get together. <laughs> Not necessarily computer people, just metal man and machine woman. Metal man and techno yeah. girl. I'm, I mean, on like a power level that works, miss. but on like a personality level, I don't think Brittany wants anything to do with XR13. Oh no, she's um, scared of him. Brittany yeah. really values her like normalcy. Oh, hmm. yeah. Like what? Li what little she might have. So I was actually thinking that Roscoe would be a better. Oh yeah, let's do it. For that. Cool. Yeah, I'm up for this. <laughs> All girl, right. Are you, are you playing a dude? No. Uh, no Roscoe, Roscoe is a girl. Girl with a guy name. Roscoe. Roscoe. Yeah. Roscoe. S e o e. Fuck it, it's a game. <laughs> I'm sorry, just I've never heard a girl named Roscoe. That's uh, yeah. I, I the just main character of the new Star Trek oh, series is a girl named Michael. Just, just get over it, man. No, no, Michael yeah, is a girl. At least um, Roscoe's a real name. It could be like 
Shamiroquai. Yeah, no, no, Michael. I would, I've, I've, I've I known not give anyone name Michael. Um, I've never met a female Roscoe. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, what after, I'm after it's not like, like a, after like, anyway. All right, all right. Anyway, I get, I get that shit. Y'all, the, for for fragment fi- final thing is these people matter for what you need to do. So give influence to two of your teammates. All right, I don't mean to be like all exclusionary at XR thirteen, but I, again, <laughs> I'm gonna pick the other two because it makes okay. sense that you know the person she wants to kiss and the person that she told all, all of her secrets no, makes sense. the ones that she had given. I, I assume that the game design designers have considered that that's going to happen most of the time. Yeah, for these transforms, it's kind of natural to, to not have a lot of connection. Yeah, so next is uh, XR13. So we got relationships. Okay. Blank comforted you when you were at your lowest. Um, Roscoe, what uh, abilities did you have? Uh, so I have stealth and detective skills. All right, so um, I think that would I think Roscoe would be the one because being the uh, least directly tech person. I think um, her point of view is something that would uh, kind of strike home with XR. Oh yeah, let's be bros. Yeah, so that would work really well. So okay. yeah, Roscoe comforted me at at a, at a point when I got really low. And then you've got blank knew you before you changed. All right, so I had this one planned. So let's uh, let's let's work out the details of this. Um, Fragment knew me before I changed because uh, she's a high school student. She's a student, and I was a student. So I'm figuring that um, uh, because of our high IQs, we probably would have crossed paths somewhere. So like, it would be uh, you and Fragment. Yeah. So like, um, I'm wondering now if. Fragment wouldn't know that XR is John. I mean, say so the wording says that uh, the Fragment knew you before it doesn't necessarily mean that she knows you're. Yeah, well, I, I do. I, I mean, I can, so I can so say this either way. So, like, we can have it where. Um, That's it. Yeah. So it, it would be really interesting to play it as like, um, I'm you knew you knew John. But you don't know that John is now XR thirteen. It says your name's Eric, but yeah. Um. Yeah, Eric. Sorry. Um. Multiple characters, multiple games. Yeah. Sorry. Uh. Yeah. I think that she would. Yeah. I like that she knew Eric, and then doesn't know that Eric turned into XR thirteen. Yeah. So we're gonna go with that. Okay. Cool. I like it. All right, and then you try not to care what other people think, even if you can't shut everyone out. Give influence to one teammate. Definitely Roscoe. Okay. And then Roscoe. All right. So you got two relationships, and then your influence. So first... You and Blank teamed up a few times before the rest of the team came together. I'm gonna go with XR13. Yeah. All right. And then the next one is your mention. Mentor is cautious. They asked you to keep an eye on Blank. So, uh, Blade is really good with technology and he's also super fucking paranoid so i feel like he would have been suspicious of fragment totally what was that Chloe? you cut cut off when you started yeah fragment did accidentally infect the ned computers so would make sense yeah, and I feel like, like, hey, this is super sketchy. Yeah. It's definitely gonna give you that face. 
like the first time yeah. you told him about fragment that's probably the expression that he gave you the one in his picture just like yeah most of the time he just has this expression on like yeah i know that i look cool but i'm not very happy right now all right so yeah, no, I think and uh you get to choose your demeanor yeah so i'm gonna go with playful and give influence to um Let's say Switcher and XR13. All right. And then that brings us to Switcher. Okay. So you have relationships and you have influence. So first, you keep trying to impress Blank with your antics. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's let's go with Brittany. She needs she needs a good laugh. She needs she needs some pretty shit to be seen every once in a while. She with the kind of stuff that's going on. So yeah. So that's a cool like little circular thing, right? She told you all the heavy shit, and now you keep trying to like take her mind off of it. It's good. Oh, that's nice. And then you and probably if you guys want to come up with something other than this, this is fine. But you and Roscoe did that thing where you stole the cars and ran over the zombies. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to go with that. Or uh, we base, I'm going to, I'd like to make the argument that we snuck into the zoo one day and switched the animals in their cages. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> like, we, we led the tigers bit. in the llama pen, the llamas into the tiger pen, that sort of shit. Okay, sure. You go to see the tigers and there's just this llama burping with a full stomach. <laughs> <laughs> now that yes. is irony. <laughs> And then uh, for your influence, well, it says you care way more than you let on. Give three teammates influence, and you only have three yes. teammates. All of you guys, all of you guys have influence. Over you get influence, and you <laughs> get influence. Everybody even gets influence. Even though half the time I tell you to go fuck yourselves, <laughs> I, secret, I secretly crave your approval. All of you. Yep, that's the de that's the delinquents deal. Hey. Love me, <laughs> notice me. <laughs> love me and then leave me alone. Just like you <laughs> shoot me. Just why are you me. licking that? Okay. You know why are you licking that? Woke up and now he's running around screaming and being an asshole. <laughs> oh, the cat. That sounds or... normal. Oh, brother. Yeah, I can't tell. Cat. Okay. No, Actually, I think you're a no. little brother if you start screaming and acting like an ass. Yeah. All right, let's take like a just a couple of minutes. Let me I will gather my thoughts and then we'll play for a little while. All right. Um, how late are we going? Because I have class tomorrow, so I can't play as late as I used to be able to over the summer. Like I don't know. We're probably going for another forty-five minutes to an hour. Oh yeah, that's good. Hi, baby. that Lawrence kind of do oh no no you didn't um you didn't go with uh with that <laughs> I changed I changed the emotion uh thing I didn't want to yeah it, it was it was uh, it would have been ironic if you could do naturally 
what my company was trying to do with the remote control. Hmm. What psychic constructs? No, the um, or... the, the first thing he was looking at the um, emotion oh, gadgets, and yeah, hack control, well, emotion control. Mm -hmm. Well, how would that be like the drone thing, though? Or are you talking about something else? No, it would be like um, transplanting your mind and your memories and your emotions into the thing to prevent lag rather than um, just remote control. So uh, like part of the transmission would be emotions. Hmm. I usually come up with some in-depth backstories, but this one is pretty neat. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. So Brittany has a secret from me. I have a secret from Brittany. Well, you don't know her doom, right? You don't know that she's got this thing going on with the AI. Yeah, yeah. Well, and... uh, we, we're not we're not aware of um the, the full extent of things. Neither of us, I think. Yeah, so... we're keeping secrets from each other. We're not on. Yeah, so probably that's... we're not BFFs. Yeah, so so there's so much that could happen there. Jesus.
Welcome back. Welcome back. Should be just about ready. Does anybody have a beginning of session move? I don't think so. But I just thought I would ask. I'm just saying, do mass characters even have beginning of session? Mm -hmm. Some do. I guess so. Interesting, anyway, considering that I have completely shut the door on regaining my humanity. Yeah, well, I mean, clone body, and then you, like, do to yourself <laughs> what Trokinox was doing. Yeah, I suppose. Poor bastard. Uh, I think it's, yeah. I don't know, I think I don't want to start collectively asking. Hmm? What's that? I don't know, I'm just noticing that I think the guy I relieved this morning uh, is coming back uh, tonight. I just. That's after he did a double. I just, this, it feels bad, but, I don't know, I did a double, t I don't fucking know, I, I, my brain just, are vaguely scrambled. I still have a shit ton of notes that I gotta cut tomorrow. Eh, fuck it. <laughs> Do my, it's an open book test, so I just gotta copy everything. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Just don't freak out. Fuck. Sorry, Tana. You know you're a solid half hour early? Yeah, I was already on the road, brother. I mean, you can just take a nap, take like a twenty minute nap or some shit, man. Stay out from here early for somebody. It's all good for me. All right, man. Oh, sorry. Working on your career, right. man. Whenever y'all are ready, I'm good. we will do this. I think Kayla I'm came good. back, but I haven't heard her voice, so I don't know. She and channel, but no, no talkie. You didn't mute your headset or something? Because, yeah, it doesn't show your mic muted because it's weird. I cannot. We can't hear you. The, the little green circle's not going. It's like your mic's not on. Yep, that'd be an L.
Well, she's like restarting the whole computer or something. How do I get potential without being torn apart? Look, sometimes you just have to enjoy the being torn apart to get your potential. <laughs> uh, well, at least there's an added. <sighs> Yeah, you definitely want to look at taking, um, I thought about this when I was play, uh, imagining making a transformed of taking from the, yeah, oh. hey there, hey, there hi. we go. Good to have you back. Hey. hey. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know, it does this sometimes, I just restart my computer till it works. Yeah, uh, Darren, the, the damage move from the newborn. You get an additional condition called damage while well marked, right? You take plus one to take a powerful blow, but it essentially gives you six conditions instead of five. Oh, yeah. oh no, no, um, but the, like, um, I want to get what I'm going to be trying to, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get new abilities. So I'm going to be glad when I get five potential because the impenetrable armor and inhuman might will basically have me like Robocop. I won't be very fast. I don't have any ranged attacks. So um, I'm going to be like a tank. Yeah, for sure. Right now you're just, uh, you know, just the body. Yeah. No weaponry on it, really. Yeah, which is expected for a uh, type device. Indeed. So... I guess... Uh, the thing to to figure out, right, is uh, hello. Well, well, not not. I guess figure. I can kind of just put you guys wherever. But I'm curious as to what you guys think your your heroing looks like. Because I was imagining uh, that Ned kind of gives you assignments, perhaps. Yeah. Is that something that we all? think would be a realistic place to find ourselves is that yeah that'd be a good idea yeah, yeah I think sounds legit like they, um, yeah i think like they, they transport us out and give us specific okay that, yeah, that, that actually was my very next question is how do you guys get from point a to point b yeah yeah i think um i think it's pretty much and, 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 i'm just movement. so i mean like what kind of vehicle if if you're being provided with that kind of thing by ned um what kind of vehicle you think you guys are driving or are you being driven by one of their agents or what do you guys think yeah yo can have motorcycles because motorcycles are really cool <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I, I have no problem with that necessarily if you guys want yes. to have been issued motorcycles yeah <laughs> I remember how to ride. All right, <laughs> let's let's do this. Motorcycle. Who who accepts the the sidecar? Because I don't know if XR thirteen is like you might no, be no, too no. big to ride no, on a motorcycle. No, a motorcycle would definitely make me Robocop, full on Robocop. <laughs> okay. All right, we got yeah, we got dudes with four four superheroes. I guess not dudes, half dudes one quarter or half ladies one quarter dude and then robot <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you guys um is your robot does he have a penis still that, no. that might i don't true. think that the prototype was designed for that kind of functionality man it was on the list right. but it wouldn't have gotten there <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe like, it was the next edition. Well, it's like you know, if the if the if the whole drill thing didn't pan out, they could make uh they could make mailbots or something. You like, know, why does it shit. always gotta go to sex robot? Maybe I'm just a, I'm just a sick fuck, and I just I have that on the brain constantly. 
Uh, on behalf of my fellow dinoids, I, I feel objectified. And <laughs> Stop objectifying the, the robot people. They're above your petty human sexuality. Just because you want to listen, listen. Just because you want to fuck the robots doesn't mean the robots want to fuck you. There you ah, go. Ah, thank you so much. <laughs> I think. Is no, we, we can't have for... robosexual harassment in the workplace. It's just not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's no, not it's a just thing that, there wouldn't be no sexual harassment. The robots would just kill you. There you go. <laughs> we'll see, but that's also no. We still have to be part of a society, Lawrence, and then that becomes murder. Then we have to have robot attorneys. Yeah. Do you want? Kill do you want to be? You know what? I actually do want a robot, Sam <laughs> Waterston. Now. We're good. We're on track. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right, you guys. Uh... It's like a meal robot. It's, uh... it slaps you on the backside and sends you through a wall. I think that there was a a secret, like report. I think it was a uh, blade. Actually passed along some information to Ned, who has then given you this assignment. You guys are like winding. This is like way, way the suburbs, the outskirts of Halcyon City. You guys, you know, it's the it's the thin trees, winding roads of like upstate New York type of situation. And your guys, oh, like motorcycles, are <laughs> through the cutting through the the quiet air. We probably have like a a shot where there's you know a nice calm deer just drinking from a stream yeah. and then you hear the motorcycles coming and it like gets its head up and runs off and uh, Joe Wal Joe Walsh going in the background in the city Yeah sorry and you guys uh are we all riding our own a uh, motorcycle, or are anybody's riding doubles? I don't know. It's just up to y'all. If anybody doesn't really feel like they're a driver person. Um, you guys are, you know, we've got the... Does anybody have... What are, what are the costumes like, if there is any? Or do we all just look like regular people's clothes? Um, my, my body looks like uh, the, the picture there. So uh, that's pretty much me all the time. Do you wear clothes over it though? Yeah, you. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, you could wear clothes over it. I probably would it's have an idea. if I wear a giant poncho, man. Zidesta. No, man. He's got Mexican robot. He's got to have a poncho. Oh, you could. You I would could. Have, like, yeah. Ninja Turtle jacket. All right. All right. Just... No pants, just jacket. <laughs> like Squidward. <laughs> Look, we already covered this. There's no robot penis. I know, but maybe <laughs> if he's gonna wear half of an outfit, it, though. No, no, it's the Ninja Turtles trench coat. Ah, uh, yep. You know what? Jumpsuit. Okay, he, yeah, he's yeah. doing the duster thing. He's yeah. doing. He's cool. <laughs> yeah, with the, the um, fedora. Like... Oh. You're a robot in a trench coat. It's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. You know, it's not bad looking. That's a fucking look. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Very bulky. He's very he's very big and bulky, but you know, he's my, my he's got it going boots. on. And uh what do we think about like Fragment and Switcher? Because I imagine Roscoe also is looking like her picture. Which uh, is you know, kind of a tough looking gal with her leather ish jacket. It's probably yeah, not real leather. Just like black and leather. Probably got them like fingerless uh, biker gloves. Hell yeah! What do you think a uh, fragment looks like, Chloe? Oh, she left. She was done with our bull oh. nonsense. Uh, what's oh. the weather like here? Uh, I'd say it's 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 like the same time of year that it is here. It is uh, a cold but sunny October afternoon. All right, she's probably wearing, uh, like gen the generic clothes, like night uh, nice blue jeans and like a like a 
uh, some flannel. She's not really dressed like a hero or anything. Okay, and Switcher doesn't dress, right? Yeah. Uh, he wears yeah, regular yeah. people clothes. High five regular people clothes. Woo! That's cool. I mean, I'm okay with it, right? Not every single team needs to be like Young Jux- young Justice or whatever. <laughs> um, We're not fucking X-Men. That would be yeah. annoying as fuck having that, having to have that uniform. I mean, I guess, but it's like it's about being a symbol. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we won't get into we'll get into that later. I'm sure I'm there'll be plenty of heroes anymore. who want to tell you to put on a costume. I'm not playing Shimmer anymore. I don't have to care about that. <laughs> you don't, but that doesn't mean other people won't want you to. But anyway, this time probably these are for later times. Um, and as we're doing this, it, it, um, we kind of flash back to who did we have? Mr. Jones, the, the head of Ned. But I think we need somebody that's more low level, somebody that's like kind of your guys' handler. Who's your, who's your Phil Coulson? If this was Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., right? You guys are the agents, and he's the guy. Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter? <laughs> yeah, do we want to make Sergeant Slaughter a chick? Because so, so far I feel like oh. all the people are guys. I thought yes. Yeah, yeah. sure. You wanna, do you really want it to be the Slaughter, though? I mean, is that <laughs> where, 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 where people are going? That, that was just an, uh, an idea for the personality type. <laughs> but, um... uh, Captain Murder. <laughs> oh, okay, that's better. <laughs> Captain Murder. <laughs> um, Do you think Captain that they have Murder. even those types of military titles? Even no, um, I think they would be but... agent and special agent. An operative agent. Special agent slaughter. Yeah, so it's operative agent and special agent. Um, you know, let's just let's just get all the edge lord ever system. In the special agent murder slaughter. <laughs> 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 all right, I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's see what's, um, uh, what's the name of that? Um, oh, you know what? Uh, yeah. Dude, um, Kilminster, special agent Kilminster. I'll take that. Oh, oh, if we can and compromise woman, over, over slaughter. She has to have a heavy Scotch accent. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> She's a woman named Johnny Special Agent Johnny. Kilminster. Okay. And right. she's... Anyway, you guys, we're, we're cutting to a flashback of like your briefing before having left. Uh, she's letting you know you know that they've they've got information i think really only roscoe is aware that the information probably came from blade uh it is uh a location of a hidden facility a laboratory is what they believe that an experimental facility that is uh, part of the secret organization whoever it was that uh, hit your father's company and caused your transformation xr13 what do you get what do you think their name was the name Actually. i had chosen for them was saturnalia all right yeah what? it's it is a oh no wait sorry sorry uh that was the name of my father's company i would have to come up with something um else <clears throat> um it would be some sort of operation or group um Helix. Mitsubishi? Helix Industries. Sure. Yeah, that's supposed to be a um a Helix black site that is some sort of. I mean, they they don't know exactly what, but it is probably some dangerous research. And they have assigned you to investigate. He shows you like you know it's like old school click like slides instead of uh 
PowerPoint or something. So you get just like a nice satisfying sound every time the slide changes. And there is a photograph of what looks like a very like modern upscale. I call it a mansion, but it's not like over the top palatial kind of thing. But it is like, you know, you could call it a mansion, but it's modern, like a big glass you know areas and stuff like that yeah and and supposedly supposedly it's a underground uh facility there do and they want you to investigate their the weird energy readings that have been coming from that place cool. and you guys you know as you guys the flashbacks cut in and out of the neat nature scenes as you guys travel up into the hills out in the skirts of halcyon city and you guys come up to a big uh, black iron gate that is, you know, Ow. unmarked, and that Stop you can see. Stop biting me! Oh. Stop eating my arm! So this is where we knock and hope they let us in, right? Well, I mean, no, this is where we sneak around. Yeah, I, I, w- I would go with the second option. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the mansion, like. There's a, a paved roadway that leads up to a circular parking area and on the other side of the Black Iron Gate, but there, this one is, you know, probably like 50 yards from from the house this gate is. Like woods on either side. It goes probably about uh, like 9, 10 feet high. You guys... So I'll, oh, I'll, yeah. I'll um, this is not a barrier. This is I'm just I'm describing it, but this is not a barrier. You all have the totally the means to get to where yes. you want to go. <laughs> all right, how should I get past this gate? Should I walk through it or jump over it? You could do both. Um, climb it. Boring. Yeah, I mean, just I, uh, I mean, do you guys want to somehow open it and bring the bikes in with you, or are you gonna stash the bikes out here and head in on foot? I guess yeah, is the, the... the bikes. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Do you uh, you want? Yeah, you want to use your stealth ability, Roscoe, to like, you know, camouflage them and stuff. Yeah. So I roll a freak for that. Yeah, you want to. Uh, I believe the the term on here. You unleash your powers to reshape your environment. So, huh. and then you roll plus freak. Keep on back into the masks. And uh, right now you are, guys are at one team. You guys will get more team when you engage an enemy as a team. But yeah. right now you have one. So somebody may assist her if you wanted to use. I mean, I wouldn't actually probably use the team right here, but because yeah, we might save be. it. But I just wanted to remind everybody of the team mechanic. Yeah. I'm going to make a handout like we had before. So it's like uh, something you guys can edit and uh, you just change. Hey, I hit. I got an E. Nice. Real nice. Okay. So here is how uh, that works. You you get to choose. Either you mark a condition, which is one of the emotions that are the negative emotions that affects your skills. Um, or I will tell you how it is either unstable or temporary. I'm going to mark a condition. Okay. So, you, which one? Let's see what conditions. Let me pull that up again. We have afraid, angry, guilty, insecure, and hopeless. Don't stop biting me! <laughs> ah. Insecure because you're not sure if it'll work? Trying to find uh, the conditions. Shit, where is that? They are uh, on the right side of the sheet that has your moves on it. Hey, I'll take angry. All right. Maybe just because you like. I don't know. Like, I think I think they all watch you do it. I think they all watch you hide the bikes, and you're like, nobody helped you, and you're just like, kind of a little pissed off about it. Yeah. I'm pissed that XK13 had like his life stolen from him. Like that's fucked up. Mm. XR. Yeah. XR. XR. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you guys, you guys hop 
skip, jump, bend, whatever the fence, and you're on the other side, making your way up. Yeah. Uh, I mean, are we uh, approaching stealthily, or are you guys just like tromping up? Like, is there any? Oh, I, I mean, I'm stealthing it, you assholes. Yeah, that's. I mean, sure. Yeah, you don't need to have an at with you. Um, you guys are not like seeing any signs of people, which you know, it's neither here nor there necessarily. But there's not like guards that to you uh, can have seen or heard patrolling well, or anything. We could like check that. if there's like cameras and stuff, though. Yeah. Yeah, you could. We should have checked if the gate was electrified, but um, I completely forgot. It was a freebie. Uh, could I you could I survey the whole place, check for weak spots, easy access, stuff like that? Oh, well, how? How do you do that? I suppose just walking. I suppose just walking around. Uh. I don't know, looking for traps, looking for doors that actually kind of already have a, that are open, that sort of thing, but not main entrance, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, you you guys can assess the situation of you guys can see what you see. Uh, um, I mean, I have a specific thing called Criminal Mastermind. Yeah. That helps... It, a specific situation it aids in terms of better options for infiltration and I believe yeah. I'm superior for that and Jake I am 10 to 15 minutes away from my uh, house but could you do me a solid and just roll, roll that for me okay and is anybody assisting his scouting mission um what would I roll for this uh, you don't roll you just spend the team and he gets plus one to do it uh, I think you want to save that. Okay. Uh, All right, he does a very good job. Superior 11. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck, I don't have the move sheet in front of me. But I believe it has on the very bottom of it, best way in, I guess, is one of them. Oh, good one. Yeah, you, uh... I think in the scouting of it, you see, like, of, uh, not like a... It's like a round vent, like, a exhaust, but it's not, like, for... I don't know, you feel warm air coming out of it. Like, that's actually probably how you notice it. It's kind of obscured by brush. And, like, it goes in somewhere. I look at the other guys. What's that? Who looks like they could fit into the, into, into the vent? I mean, I don't know how. Is there a maybe girl XR on the front? Brittany could. There, there is a uh, grill, but yeah, Brittany and Roscoe definitely can. And unless you're like specifically big and bulky guy switcher, you you can as well. XR thirteen though, he's kind of yeah. you know <laughs> big and made of metal. You might get in and then open a window for him. Yeah. But, no, uh, this is infiltration, you know, we got yeah. subtle going in. Yeah, that, that's why I've been hanging back. Um, you guys have to kind of uh, scout forward first. <laughs> he does get to ask another question from Assess the Situation. Okay, um, what were the other options? I'm sorry. Let's see, what here can I use to blank? What are, here is the biggest threat? What here is in the greatest danger? Who here is most vulnerable to me? And how could we best end this quickly, not necessarily prevalent or uh, relevant here? And then criminal mind, besides the way in things it has. How could I best infuriate or provoke blank? And then what here is useful or valuable to me? 
What here is useful sounds like it might be good. I believe the second one would the second one involving what is more valuable would be a uh, thing to go with. I mean useful I guess like what, right? You've got I mean you've got a way in. That's problem and okay. and le- yeah, like what else here are you in this situation are you trying to do because I mean, I suppose... uh, you know, because that's the most useful thing still is the the passage. All right, Ben. Uh... Um, but if there's something else, right? If it's just valuable, maybe. Um, maybe you can see that they're in in on the main floor, like just. Right, I don't know what's valuable to him. If he saw expensive stuff, would he want to steal it? Because I could like say that there's a bunch of expensive shit that's easily noticeable inside the house. Because there is. It's supposed to, you know, it's a front. It's got it's supposed to look like this wealthy mansion, summer mansion or something. Um, yeah, I guess. What I mean, what's valuable to him one. might be like that. There's tech, I guess. You know. Around yeah. there, there are things that you people wouldn't necessarily see unless they were really looking for it. But there's like cameras hidden away, and there's like what you assume, but you didn't get anywhere near them, are either turrets in the ground or landmines. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's stuff. All right, Te- technological uh, stuff around. I guess when we go in, you know. Tell you, he was like, "XR, my man." Uh, <laughs> from what I can tell, from what I can tell around here, uh, I don't think you ought to be walking around too often. Try, like, try to stay hidden until we can get like a big entrance, because uh, there are the land's mind, oh, mind's right. land. <laughs> All right. So, is there a bush or something nearby I can just stand inside of, or, or and and yeah, oh, there's. No? I mean, yeah. Maybe I think in the trees. If you stay in the tree area by the gate, I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah. This this mostly in the like mowed grass area that these these saw these little discs in the in the ground. Yeah, no problem at all. So I'll do like the predator in the trees. You do also them. though, right? Even in the trees, you find a good spot, but you see it yourself when you're looking around. Like, oh, there's a, there is a camera that's yeah. like actually embedded inside the hollow of this tree and stuff. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna be up in the trees, like, uh, yeah, like the predator. Because when you guys raise hell, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to just rush in and bust through the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just want, we want for the subtle route first. No, before, yeah. Or, you know. So yeah, he gets that hat draw for you first, no problem. And then the three of you guys uh, slide down. Uh, when you, it, it goes down for like a way, maybe like thirty feet down, and then and then L's off to the direction oh, of the house. Um. The you guys get to the bottom. You start crawling along in this vent. Uh, better not be sewers. I'm so, watch- tempted, I'm so tempted to just bust out sewers because you brought it up. I'm so tempted to be like, and sewers. No, it's not sewers. I'm gonna hide in someone's phone until we get out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um. You guys, but you you're crawling along in this vent se- shaft, and you uh, there's portions where there's little grates <laughs> down into the uh, facility below you, and there is a like pulsing red light. It's totally it's, not creepy. It's kind of like it's coming from somewhere on the wall. You guys. Uh, Continue through the vents, so you guys drop down into the facility. Well, pulsing red lights are interesting, at least. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely in the right place. AJ, can you give me access to my to my character sheet now? Yep. Sorry, man. 
You should have it. Yeah. yeah Do yeah, you guys yeah. want to hop down and check it out? Sounds good. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, looks bad. You guys get down in there. There is, uh, like, blood on the, blood on the walls, like, m- murdered people. It's like, and there's a silent alarm going off. Well, shit. I feel okay, could I, uh, could I be all hacker man and try what to. What are you gonna hack? Move? Oh, fuck. Is there any computers nearby? I mean, you I could go could. find a terminal. I'm kind of interested to see what our detective is, uh, making of this situation. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, what do I see? Like. It, I what mean, do I it, sense? So it's like kind of like a very um, like a hospital kind of looking, you know, f- linoleum or whatever tile floor, like pale uh-huh. green walls that look weird in the in the light. They just and there are like the lights that would be in the wall, like the the fluorescence in in the corners of the ceiling and the wall, um, are just flashing red you imagine they might be white under other circumstances but right now it's obviously bad it makes the like big smears of blood on the wall just look black and the people like just slumped on the ground or in different positions like one person is like crashed through a uh glass like security area like there's like a thick glass and like a person would be on one side monitoring the people coming and going and that person's just crashed through the glass great okay so there's clearly been so i don't even need to use my powers to know there's been a ton of violence here no if you want to know more specific like how what it is that's killing these people or and other stuff like that we you can uh, assess the situation i want to assess the situation it is superior oh you guys are so superior tonight <laughs> so you get to ask two questions yeah. from the uh basic move uh, assess the situation list oh um where is that Oh, so in the handouts, I have a basic move handout. You can open it up and see. Basic move. Oh, um, gosh, I guess what here is the greatest danger and what here is the biggest threat? Well, what what here is the biggest threat? And then there's what here is in the greatest danger. Like, what is threatened? What here... Yeah, I guess I'll ask those two. Okay. So... Um, I think the answer to your first question is answered when you turn over the first body and see, like, the torn, like, lab outfit and, like, like scrubs, like, I don't know, some non-traditional color of scrubs, like a, like a dark orange or something. And it's, like, ripped. He's got his, like, throat is torn out and he's got, like bite marks like not human bite marks like yeah. circular and like two uh rows of perfect circles of of teeth probably is what you assume they are and so that is the biggest threat there's some sort of monster down here and who's in the greatest danger what is in the greatest danger and that that, that would be you guys Okay, great. So clearly it seems like their seems like their own creation might have destroyed them. I was say, do you know where the creation is? Hmm. Guys, have you uh, turned off these surveillances yet? No, no, they have not yet. I don't think they got cell service right here either, I think. Um, but I also, to even compound the situation, you are uh, tucked away 
on the surface their XR13 and up the road start coming like a convoy a, a line of black vehicles like two of them are like Humvees and two of them are regular black sedans but like on their approach the yeah. gate opens up on its own oh um so oh, it's flashback <laughs> The uh, communicators are working, though. No, the you don't. Yeah, do you guys have actual communicators as part of the the uh, protege, or do you guys what? just have the cell phones that you own, like regular style? Like, what are the uh, the things that your mentor gives you? Uh, um, you got badges of authority. Uh, badges. We've got badges. We've got a med lab, and okay. we've got uh. And the supercomputer. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you guys, yeah, you guys don't have special communicators. You just have your cell phones, and like, you call somebody. You call Roscoe, and it's just like rings, and then goes to like the number you are trying to dial is outside of service. So yeah, there's these black cars pulling up, and like you can't get a hold of your friend, Roscoe. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Uh, uh, XR. Um, are there any like, um, are there any like windows that can open to give him a way in? No, you guys are like thirty feet underground right now. Well, shit. You guys are in the secret facility. Um, I guess maybe let's try and like go upstairs. Is there Wi-Fi? Well, you, yeah, you guys don't you guys don't know that this other stuff's happening. You guys are worried about the oh yeah uh, that that was the last piece that I forgot to uh, I guess that the, this finally clicks in your mind of what the project name they told you was happening here. They don't know what it is, but it was Project Jitterbug. So it might be a giant bug. I it, hate bugs. It might be some type of insect-like creature. Yes, uh, oh, it, but you don't know. It's just, just that's it was wow, called Project great. Jitterbug. This is, this is fucking fine. <laughs> uh, I'd like to assess the situation with these uh these cars. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, you, you got like some kind of scanning on your vi visuals. I'm sure you can like zoom in and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be anything too intense because I don't have senses, but um, yeah, no, I can do some. Um, but you, I mean, yeah, <laughs> right, aren't so. human either, so yeah. you I would can have do things. Something. Yeah. Oh, but you are not superior. I think that you just start to panic, dude. You see them get out, and there's like a, that symbol, oh, that 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 yeah. like DNA helix symbol that yeah. is always that you remember from. When you went back to the facility, right, and it was yeah. and they had destroyed it and like everything, and you just start to panic, man. Uh, you definitely should mark afraid. All right, I have that. Um. Meanwhile, yeah, you guys are like, there's a monster down here, but also you need to get XR thirteen inside with you, and uh, I think it's fragment. Um. That you, you like, in the pulsing of the light, you, like, hear and see it just for a second. You just, this, like, kind of clicking kind of sound that they, that monsters in monster movies make. Just the... Lovely. You know, and it's just, kind of, like, to you, it's almost like it might not have been there. It was, like... There, it looks like a, a long scarab-like thing, but it kind of has just a little bit of, like, like it could stand, maybe, like it has arms and legs or something, or at least, like, I don't hey guys, know. Guys, ever feel like it, you're in a horror movie? And it, uh, but it, like, kind of jitters and is and is gone. Um, in 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 just in the mere pulse of one of the lights, and yeah, and you turn to them and tell tell Brit them. Yeah, for you to be like, I see it, and she's gonna go to where she saw it. 
Yeah, she's she's heading. She's leaving the, the formation. She's heading down the hallway. So well, how come you were the only one who saw it? Because we were. All I think she was facing away. It, like it was like in a blink of an eye kind of thing. Okay. Like you're uh, looking at the oh. like you know the dead body. Did we notice that she's looking leaving? for a computer, and then like she's like sees this thing out of the corner of her eye, and it's like, hey guys, I'm gonna go check this out. I think, like, the scientists, I'm just gonna, like, real quick grab, like, anything they have in their pockets that looks like useful info. Like, USB keys, cell phones, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna do that. In my yeah, they, I mean, they're they're bare, right? Like, I think you might find a key card on one of the dudes, but, like, I don't think people are carrying around cell phones. There's probably a place where they have to, like, relinquish all yeah. of their outside stuff. So there's, you, you know that there's somewhere on this place where you can find people's personal information, but oh. like down here, is it's all very clean. Um, yeah, but your your friend uh, Brittany's going down the hallway towards what she said was, "I think I see it," which might be the monster, which is dangerous. All right, well let's follow her. Clearly, you guys, yeah, you guys want to follow? Oh, awesome. We're yeah. fighting. No, I was my fucking elbow, you dick. Sorry, cat woke up. Uh, uh, Switcher, you. Uh, I think uh, just, I. Did she already leave? It's like she saw it and she bolted, and she bolted fast. Ow! I mean, I think you guys are thinking that this is taking place over a longer period of time than it is. This is literally happening over like fifteen seconds, right? She's okay, like, she saw this thing just... out of the corner of her eye. It was gone. She's like, oh, I think I see it. I'm gonna fall. Bernie, for fuck's sakes! Sorry, man. <laughs> no, I, like no, I mean like role play. I mean, thing. He's like, "How you ever? Don't you watch any fucking horror movies?" And he's like, "Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> and he, you know, he's, he's, he's like, whisper screaming after after the outburst. You know, he realizes he's just giving away his fucking position. So it's like he just automatically, you know, tells he's like, you "Gotta go quiet." Is <laughs> it? So I think yeah. After a while of oh. like trying to f trying to figure out where it is or where it went, you guys come up on some kind of laboratory or you know like an experiment place, and there are like big. I guess I'm, I, I've never watched Stargate, so I'm gonna look up what a Stargate looks like because okay. I think it looks like a Stargate, but I don't know what a Stargate looked like. Oh yeah, it totally looks like Stargate. All right. So <laughs> there's like. Um, the room has like two of them, like one on either end. Uh, one of them's got like it looks like it's overloaded and exploded, and the other one is kind of just got like gray, swirling, electrified energy in it. And who, uh, who wants to poke it? I take a picture with my phone. Cool. Uh, Switcher, you find. Like a pretty impressive, like computer terminal in this room. If you wanted to try and glean some information about this whole situation, yeah, sure. Let's let's get all hacker man on this shit. Um, I I'm in, I actually have the thing in front of me. Oh, doggy. Uh, <laughs> anyone want to try to help me uh, figure this shit out? Because oh um, yeah, I can help. I'm pretty good with. I'm pretty decent with computers. Well, the whole point is, are you won't do we do we actually have team or do we lose? Yeah, we, have team. Uh, we got one whole team. Yeah, did you guys spend that one? No, you didn't yet. We have not. So. No. Okay. All right. I mean, if you want to help me, do we need to wanna, spend it here? Look at it. It's going to be a plus one with it. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see one. Well, mark potential. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta always look on the bright side. Oh yeah. Mask is like the only one that, that likes Aaron, did you it. mark potential? I definitely did. Okay. So um I I just I think that you guys finally like you're trying to type in there and uh and Roscoe is there. Like trying to type, you know, do what she can 
to help you whatever understand this foreign computer and fragment again like almost as if it jitters like the way that you saw it, or saw it jitter out of existence before like it, well, it so jitters into existence in front of you and is like making not even that clicking sound anymore it's making kind of this like screeching like sound and it's like getting up <laughs> It doesn't have like human like limbs, but it does yeah. it does in a weird way kind of stand up on its carapace. It makes itself larger and you can see like the mandible spread open and the like circular rows of teeth in there. And now all of you definitely cannot help but notice it, right? It interrupts your hacker manning with its monstrous presence. I knew it. I told you that I saw it. <laughs> wow, good for you. Uh, okay, can I, um, tr is there a way that I could actually, like, you know, uh, um, these other folks, can I distract the fucking bug somehow? I mean, somehow is the thing you gotta tell me, fool. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. Uh, well, I'm, I'm trying to use this, right now, but, uh, with the way these guys are doing it, I'm just gonna see, uh, do we have anything around that's, like, flashing or some shit, or... Other than all of the lights are flashing red? Um, we have our phones. Okay, no, I take a, I take the fucking things and I'm just, like, kind of, I take one of the shiny things and I turn the, so the lights are up, and, you know, I kind of shake myself around in front of the... Thing away from the two people and it's like I'm trying to do I'm like scarily doing the fucking rave thing where you wave the, the, the lights around and shit oh my god it's like having a fucking rave you know that you know the thing people do with the glow sticks where they spin yeah, them around yeah, and shit yeah, I do it's and like that with cell phones and that. what are you trying to achieve with this I'm trying to like well I'm ultimately trying to get him to look towards me instead of two There's people who are actually capable of killing it, you know, distraction, well, uh, while they can sucker punch it or whatever, or run, or something. So I'm gonna focus on the computer. Okay. No, just, I, I'm kind of... I mean, I think that you probably, I mean, you're put, putting your butt on the line, potentially, but you can use Are You Watching closely. Yep. Uh, let's just... I mean, it's a bit of... Alright, let's see what happens. Nothing? Okay. Uh, ten. Choose three. Woo! Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, you get an opportunity. You expose a weakness or flaw. You confuse them for some time. You avoid further entanglement. So let's see. Uh, I think the first three sound best right now. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree, too. One sec. Uh, I suppose in that middle time or whatever, uh, I get an opportunity, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't really have any superpowers, so I'm going to see if I can find something big and heavy that I can smack it with. Uh, if, if nothing else, I just want to see if I can... I don't know. Kick it or break it. Break a chair over its face. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. as a as a as a boy genius with superpowers, you know that you you're probably not strong enough to hurt it, no matter what you get. Really, oh, okay. like it has this big, like iron, black iron looking carapace. Right, it's like a interdimensional bug. If you just have regular human strength and you hit it with quote unquote something heavy, it's it's probably gonna hurt you. Okay. Uh, if that's the case, I get an opportunity. Could I kind of just rush back to the fucking computer and see if I can dick around with it to like get a security measure going? To I mean, okay, right? Like, or? but it has yeah. to if, if if it's distracted, and the thing that's distracting it is you are dancing and yelling at it. If you yeah. stop doing that, then why does your move continue to work? Oh, you're right. They're fooled at least for a moment. Um. If that's the I mean, case. you confuse them for some time. So if you come up with a gadget that you use that makes it like right, you have illusions, right? If you do that instead of actually that, that's 
yeah i mean that's the really the hitch here is that you're just like hey over here I, this is just me not using any powers and distracting you <laughs> all right then. like if um, you're like i throw a, you know you're like hey what do we i, I throw my phone down and it has a thing that does a fucking like tupac projection of me that starts doing <laughs> thing. yeah fuck it let's uh like after i've just dist- distracted him like uh let's say i have uh i have a phone that has that at, that I'm able to get memes going, so it's a, Woo, picture, memes! It's a so it's a picture of Snoop Dogg doing that doing that wheel turn dance. <laughs> sure, yeah, you're and, trying to. Uh, I guess I roll freak, and well, but you yeah. get an opportunity. You sp- expose a weakness or flaw. So, um, I don't know. I guess if, while it creeps up to the to the machine that. Kind of unfurls wings or something like that. It it exposes its its guts on its back, I guess. But, you know the innards of a of a bug. You know that's underneath the the shell of the wings. I mean, or it's like it gets ready, so it kind of unfurls to let out slimy bits that are that are softer or something. Hmm. Ow. Or you know what? Its eyes look so intently at the flash and you and you realize that the eyes are are the weakness oh don't fucking i think the, the the weakness that you that you expose is that it doesn't i don't think it has a sense of smell i think it sees light i think it hears things but i don't think that it can tell that the hologram isn't there isn't isn't oh, a thing nice. so it's like trying yeah. to most tr- keeps trying to like savage this like bit of light you know so oh okay, so- so confuse them for some time, so it counts for a little bit. I mean, I mean uh, until it, it, it accidentally at some point steps on the phone and breaks it, it's confused. So. Yeah. Ow! Okay. Ow! Uh, it's just, I think it's time that, um, I think, uh, yeah. You, Roscoe, Brittany, I, we, I, I think we need to leave! <laughs> Give me, a, give me a few minutes with this computer first. Well, he's, he's right. running well, over the to do the computer thing, too. And you guys, yeah. So the broken Stargate thing, what's that? Ow! Like? Um, it kind of looks like it, it's it's not got like a ramp leading up to it. I think it's kind of like there were two of these Stargates lined up to face each other, and one of them is broken now. Like how broken? Like, uh, like part of the ring has exploded and it is depowered as far as you can tell whereas the other one is like got light on it's got this swirling energy this one is just empty inside the circle i'm just gonna like take pictures of everything with my phone really quick Mm -hmm. brady's gonna go punch the giant bug i guess (laughs) yeah y'all apparently need a few minutes and our big robot's not here, so I, I'll take over punching duties. Yeah, speaking of the big robot, like they they've lined up. They uh, XR. They're not even going inside. You mm-hmm. see that they are like pouring out, and like a bunch of these dudes in black army fatigues are driving uh, these like three foot long spikes it, into the we're ground. Split the party. We fucked like, up all, <laughs> all throughout the thing. All all throughout the grassy area. Oh okay. Um mistakes were made. I'm assuming I can jump. So I'd like to jump over to the door and bash my way in. Okay, yeah, you just want to, like, roll past these guys and get into the building. Yeah. That's a roll your freak. Alright, so, um, I have a move that says unstoppable. That lets me roll danger. When I smash okay. my way through scenery to get to or away from something. Okay. okay. So... I'm gonna go do that, and I'm gonna. So I'm just busting through the door, and and I'm just like, uh, trying to to find them. So I'm gonna be breaking some stuff. Yep, roll the deal. Okay. Woo! 
All right, so let's just uh, so yeah, choose your condition, or say how it's unstable or temporary. All right, so let me um let me give you the full text of the move. Uh, control copy. This is from the transform. Seven nine, choose one. Yeah, mark a condition, or it's kind of similar. Leave um, something behind or take, take something, something with, with you. me. Seems good. Uh, for one, it, it doesn't, because yeah. I assure you it won't be. Well, yeah, because like um, I'm thinking that I would that, probably take these guys' attention with me. <laughs> I, and I assure you that that's not good. Yeah, it's not good. So um, yeah, I, 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 me I meant in the sense that it fits. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So I'd be borrowing. Well, so whatever you do, guys, and really um, funny. I'd be bringing these guys with me, basically. Probably. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Okay. So. Bug punch. Bug punch. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, it's it's you know been th doing this thing but you you know when you come it's over to it and there. like hit it for the first time knock it off it's you know it engages you so and you directly engage the beast oh my very strong <laughs> so you to make two choices knock his antenna off <laughs> all right um well resist and avoid the blows sounds good Mm -hmm. As almost always, um, and yeah, I think create an opportunity for our allies. And it's like what I'm trying to do here is mostly stall the thing, so because apparently someone needs a few minutes with the computers. Yeah, so you guys get uh, another shot at doing the computer all. I think we'll also, as part of the thing. Um, Fragment, you know, smacks it against the wall. It comes at her, she dodges it, you know, maybe does a little thing like the wrestlers do where it charges, she does it over her back and it like falls on and it's like skittering it. It's like a creepily muscular and, and multi jointed little legs. Like, well, not little. Don't even, I don't know. Anyway, what am I looking for? Oh, the villain moves. I need to, it needs to make a move. So when the villains do their thing, they gotta go first. Uh, when they mark a thing like afraid, so uh, which it doesn't disrupt you guys, but uh, the thing does the other thing where it kind of like it's almost like starting single and then it like double visions out of existence, kind of like zip. And like when you oh, like that one Pokemon move. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's skittering on its back, and then it jitters and is gone. And you guys get to to hack at the machine again. So if you whoever wants to, and y'all chastised me for going after the bug. <laughs> I feel like you should take point on this one because you actually have computer. Your powers. Okay, so go for it, hacker man. Don't fail again, or Help. you might activate. Don't fuck up. You might activate the purge gas. All right, hacker man. Okay. Uh, fuck up! Don't fuck up. Can be a straight zero, so it can it can go either way. So not freaky. Okay, but I get a a, a thing. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I I'm genuine. I I think I'm scared because giant beetles and kill squads and shit. And I'm, you guys I'm, have no idea about the kill squad. Okay, I'm just uh, saying. Like, still scared of the giant beetle. I punched it though. You did. You punched oh. it real good. <laughs> boop 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 boop. boop, 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 boop. Okay. All right. I stand corrected. Let's see. All right. Yeah. Let's, I mean, you can take afraid. I'm not saying don't take afraid, but I just, you know, it will be a surprise to you that there are hitmen. 
Nope. Uh, so let us. Uh, you uh. Yeah, I mean, you somehow right. You get like a drive in. You get the uh, like an explanation, kind of of like they're they were trying to Woo! harness uh like interdimensional particles as like a form of energy perhaps propulsion he, they don't they weren't there was a lot of potential applications and then they accidentally caught a jitterbug and then like you don't really have time to read more of the report because uh XRD smashes through the fucking ceiling <laughs> yeah hi good to see you what's up what the uh, fuck we have company there are reinforcements outside. Uh, and I look up at the hole I left. Uh, we are, there are reinforcements inside. What's going on in here? A uh, giant bug? But yeah, that... we should probably go. Um, how many bugs are there? I think, uh, yeah, I think that you, you jump, you know, you, you're doing that. Um... <laughs> And and calling from a uh, the hole that XRD just made in in the roof yeah. uh, is some young womanly voice that says going so soon, but the party's just started, and like energy illuminates in the darkness and. You know, like a young, like probably Asian gal. She has like dark, black, like you know, very straight hair, and <laughs> she's got like Psylocke style, except uh, I think green, just like projections of energy coming off of her hands. And I think uh, that's way where we will we will stop for tonight. Oh, we will enter battle as a team <laughs> to next time. Yay. Woo! <laughs> a cool little cool. intro. I like the team a lot. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> pretty much exactly really what you'd expect. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, I got the I got the Halloween spirit going on, so I threw in a little oh, bit yeah. of an alien. You know, had to, but yeah, you were doing some like techno paranormal research division thing it's neat we're always neat so let's do the end of session and that starts with fragment all right um i think well, it wasn't a very long session, but I think no. she more grew into her own image of herself with the, you know... She took some her, initiative on her own, you know? Took initiative on her own, didn't really do anything teamy with yep. anyone, so... Alright, so yeah. you get to shift your labels as you choose. I'm gonna bump up danger and down savior, I guess. Alright. Because that's then... how she seemed to be acting. Yeah. And then XR thirteen. Um, grew closer to the team because it's the first uh, mission we've been uh, assigned on, so it's my, like my first experience as part of the team. Uh, the person who would do that is um, who was the one who was glad to see me when I dropped in. That was, uh, I think, uh, Roscoe. Cool. So Roscoe. Roscoe, you get influence over. Uh, XR13, if you already have influence over him, you get to change his labels one up and one down, and uh, yeah, and then he gets to do his water. So he Ooh. can, yeah, his freak, danger, savior, superior, or mundane. One of them goes up, and the other, and a different one goes down. Keep the good ones. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> How, yeah, how do you want to see XR13 behave, really, is the question. Uh, he 
I mean, he's got good yeah. danger. Yeah. He's got really good freak. He's got bad, average or bad everything else. Dude, is someone watching porn in the background? Huh? Do you hear porn right now? Uh, no. <laughs> it's either someone saying uh, that or it's a bunch of people going like really cutesy noises over cats or some shit. That happens. I don't hear anything right now, though. Okay, well, he's gone. Either. Um, instead of marking potential, I'm going to clear a freed. Okay. Because I'm going to like be psyching myself up to um, bugs, people. Uh, like I, I know this is going to be bad. Yeah. All right, and then we will go to Roscoe Saint. Oh, um, how did the end of session move? So on the peripheral mm -hmm. moves, you can see. Uh, at the end of session, you will choose oh, one of those on three things. Yeah, it's on the roll twenty page. With myself. Okay. Um. And how do you see yourself, and why? Um, I feel like I've been using my powers a lot. Okay, cool. I think I want to shift Freak 1 up. All and right. then maybe... Shit, maybe Danger 1 down. Because I just kept trying to, like... Just, like, I did not want any part of that battle. I'm like, no, fuck it. I'm a stealth person. I do stealth <laughs> shit. That makes sense. Alright, so that's, that's uh, that. And then... Uh, switcher. Battle is all I do. Let's see, uh... I'm gonna say... Hmm. I guess I grew closer to the team because in the end, uh, we were able to get the fucking bug to, to go away, the, the jitterbug. Um, I put my trust in other folks and they did, and they, uh, did me a solid, so, um... Yeah, uh, specifically, you know, Brittany, she came through with the fucking ass beaten on the inter interdimensional bug. So, yeah, good on you. Uh, I'd use that to clear condition. So. All right, and you also get influence there. Right, man. No longer spooky, scary skeleton. Uh, yeah, Brittany, what do you want me to be? I oh, know that's it gone. Well. Well. Mark? Well. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, what's that? Yeah, uh, you have influence over me, so uh, do you want to make me do anything different? Or? If, if you had it already, you get to do the thing. Yeah, I, I, I she has influence. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go freak up. Uh, savior down. Okay, I am at minus two savior. Wow. Do, do not wow. expect me do not okay. expect me to help any of you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, but we really needed you to more freaky D. Hey, uh cool. Roscoe, did you um did you decide on a switch for me? Oh, um shit, what are your so what are your stats currently? Let me My freak and my danger are really high, which makes me really good at fighting. And uh, unleashing my powers. Um, so if you want me to be, uh, the unstoppable force, that kind of thing, you'll want those high, uh, and you would want the other things low. Um, my... well, can I tell her what's, what you time don't you want them You want them low, but they might be low. Yeah. Um, so you can probably shift anything between Savior, Superior, and Mundane. You want my danger to be high if you want me to directly engage? I don't know. I actually want to shift mundane one up. Wow. And save your one down. Alright, that works. Oh no. So, you guys are going to be really bad at protecting each other. <laughs> yes. I feel like... Savior allows me to defend you. I just feel 
feel like even though like you're a giant robot, you're just like our bro who's bad at fitting into stuff and like you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah, I guess that would that would shift my name down. No, oh, I mean if you're just yeah, a normal yeah. person, she's seeing you as like a regular person, so Alright, cool. Uh yeah, well I've maybe changed I've maybe shift. And then Savior down is she doesn't really she's not really looking at you like a heroic person, right? She just sees you as a regular person. Just right. this guy. <laughs> Who happens to be a robot. That is comforting. Alright, cool. Good game, y'all. Alright. Woo! Good game! <laughs> Alright, so next Sunday at seven Eastern, is it? Yes. Yeah, if I uh, yeah, hopefully if my schedule yeah. does what it's supposed to do. All right. Because cool. yeah. All right, I'll All be right. looking forward to that.